All right, here we go, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody feeling? You guys feeling good? Ready to kick some butt today? Monday morning, you, yeah. guys. Let's get ready. Listen, do me a favor. Today, today I'm going to need you to grab a pen and piece of paper, okay? It's important. Listen to me. If you want to recreate your life, if you want to change, I'm going to tell you how to do it today. A lot of you guys never got this side of me. Guess what? You're going to get it today. Today's going to be the day you change. Jared, you know what I'm talking about. I'm coming to kick your ass today. You hear me? Total recreation, baby. Hey, listen, do me a favor. This is important, all right? If you can't hear me for a second, I'm over here. We're in Mexico. We're chilling. Just got done smashing the gym. Life's good. And I want to talk to you about disappearing today for a minute if you really want to become the person you want to be. But I'm going to ask you a question. And I'm going to start out with some stuff real fast. Let's let everybody get in here. And then I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions. I want you to think about some stuff today, okay? Right? Have you scaled this last year? Let's think about it, all right? I mean, truly, like, have you scaled? Okay, have you become the person that you really want to become? I think a lot of people right now are really frustrated because they're not getting the change they want. If you ask me, to be honest, I think a lot of people, they're growing, they're scaling. Guess what? We get two months, we get three months, we get five months, and then shit goes back to normal. And then what do you do? You backslide again, okay? I'm going to tell you guys today, physically, how to totally 100% recreate. Now, I want to tell you this. I've got a little notebook here, okay? If anybody trains with me, we got the old master closer seminar books. When you open them up, what do I tell you? What's written will be retained, okay? This morning, I'm thinking about what I want to talk to you guys about. And I'm literally taking pages of notes. And what I'm going to give you today is the truth. No bullshit, no flim flam, no nothing. But I want to ask you one question, okay? This is on the last page. I wrote this down, and this is really important, okay? It's time to take in an appraisal of your life. I want you to do me a favor. Write this down. Take time to take an appraisal of my life. Now, what does that mean, take an appraisal? Everything and everyone in your life, everything and everyone in your life, right, takes up part of your life, takes up part of your time. I have one question to you, okay? It has to be worth your time. Is it worth it? Are they worth it? Right now, do me a favor. Think about this, okay? Are they worth it? You guys want to recreate? I'm going to show you how. But everybody and everything in your life, you have to take an appraisal of. Listen to me. You go appraise a car, right? It's a $100 car. You go appraise a car. It's a $100,000 car. You want to be surrounded by $100,000 cars or $100 cars? Some of you guys are surrounded by $100 cars, okay? I'm telling you right now, take an appraisal of your life, everything. Listen, some of you right now, you're not even listening to me. You're distracted. That's exactly your damn problem. Every single time we talk about change, you'll never change. And I'm going to tell you how to do it today, but why? Because you never take an appraisal of your life and you never slow it down, okay? So I'm going to go through some of my notes and I want you to write this down, okay? A person only has so much real estate. Write this down, real estate in their heart and in their mind, okay? Some of you, you wonder why this could be your problem, why you're not winning, okay? Look, you see my heart, it's only so big. I can only carry so much on it. No matter who I think I am, if I'm Superman, if I'm gonna do all this, my mind and my heart only have so much real estate, okay? Every single thing, why I take appraisal of it is because I can only carry so much, okay? If you allow negativity, negative people, or negative environments in your life, guess what? You're allowing part of your heart, your limited capability, and your head to literally take on shitty real estate. You want to know why one person is totally killing it? Why they're destroying everybody? Why every time you see them, they're killing it, they're dominating it, they're making more money, they're winning at levels? And, and by the way, they're not fake. Like they're not fake. I want to put that out there. There's no fakeness in our company. I don't allow it. I'm not going to be around it. I hate being around fake ass people. Okay. It has no room for my life. I don't care what value you bring, what you do for me, how much money you could give me. If you're fake, you're out. I don't want nothing to do with it. I want you guys to think about this right now. Okay. You guys have maybe been in some real estate, right? Situations with some people. It's beneficial financially, but guess what? They're shitty people. And these people are tainting your freaking brain. Can I ask you this guys?
There's something called the golden handcuff syndrome. I want you to know what it is, okay? The golden handcuff syndrome is where someone is owned by money. They're owned by it. They can't, they, they don't like where they're at. They don't like who they are. They don't like who they're around. But because they're paying you enough, you never leave. You never leave. And you end up giving away years and years of your life. And one day something happens. And you knew that that person that was never with you, right? Guess what? They're gone. You're on your own now. You're restarting. Some of you need to restart today. And I'm going to tell you how. When that restart happens, you look back and you say, man, I should have left five years ago. But I didn't because of money. I stayed. You can make whatever you want wherever. It's all up to you. And I'm going to tell you how to do it today, okay? But you got to take appraisal of everything around you. Now, listen. Look, I'm going to tell you right now. Let's start out by taking appraisal of us. Everybody say, take appraisal of us. Okay? Yeah, for real. Go and look in the damn mirror. Okay? Go look in the damn mirror for a second. Okay? You want to become a different person? I'm going to tell you how new people are made today. There's only one way. There's only one way in the dark. That's it. Every single person you see that's a hero, heroes are made in the dark. Okay? What you see is something that somebody did when no one was around, when the stands were empty, okay? I'm gonna go through some of my notes with you guys. We're gonna walk through this, okay? And I put dark room, everybody put dark room at the top of a clean piece of paper, dark room, okay? It means if you wanna become a new person, you're gonna to have to be willing to go into a dark room and disappear. It's gonna require the gym, it's going to require books. It's going to require training. It's going to require a place where no one else is. That's how people change. People don't change in the light in front of other people. That's fake. That's fake. I hear so many people, right, that come to a conference. They say out loud, man, I'm going to change today. Woo! I'm going to change. And then you go back home and nothing freaking changes. You know where change happens? Hey, Sean, I need this. Hey, you know where change happens? In the dark. It's the only place that change happens. I'm going to go through some of my notes with you, and I want to go through a story with you guys so you understand this, okay? I put sometimes you need to disappear, okay? If you're refusing to stay where you are, right, and you're really wanting to focus on you, okay, you want a higher quality of life, you want more fulfillment, you got to eliminate all the distractions, you got to eliminate every distraction in your life, okay? Nobody wants to disappear for two months, four months, six months. People don't want to disappear, okay? They don't want to go into the dark places where change is actually made, okay? It's called working in silence. And I want you to think about this, okay? I'm going to tell you guys a story right now. This is a story I haven't told anybody, okay? So three years ago, me and my wife, we've got a million-dollar home. It's paid off just going through something with you. I worked really hard. I paid this stuff off. I went through a lot of shit in my life. I learned skill. And my wife says, it's time to go to the next level. And that means it's going to require a new you. And I said, okay, all right, let's go. And she goes, the way that you change the most is when you're uncomfortable. You don't change when you're comfortable, Andy. So we've got a million dollar home. It's paid off. We don't have any bills. You have no debt. We've got money in the bank. She goes, I'm taking us back to the dark place because the guy that I need for the company that we're going to grow is going to have to go and do what we did before that got us where we're at now, but we're going to have to do it again. And guess what? We sold our home. We sold our house and we moved into a $1,500 a month rent place. That, that wasn't that nice. I'm just going to be real. Listen to this. We sold all our furniture. Every single, I'm going to ask, what are you willing to sacrifice to become the person you want to become? Don't freaking tell me you want to change. Some of you guys have been making the same money for two years. Some of you guys are up 20%, 20% wipe my ass. We play the doubles game. Okay. You know what I did? We What my wife did with me because we're a power team. She sold all the furniture. She sold the house. And guess what we did? We slept on mattresses on a floor for two years. When did you hear me on social media talking about, hey guys, I'm so committed to winning that we've sold our home and now we're sleeping on mattresses on the floor just to prove that we can do it. We didn't tell nobody. We didn't tell a single freaking soul. 
We had plastic tables in our home. We had mattresses on the floor. And guess what? All the guys that worked for me, they know it. I wanted to feel that. I wanted to go back to zero. Some of you guys right now, you know the reason why you haven't changed is because you're not hungry. You don't have any fire in you. You don't. You know where fire's created? In a dark place where you're away from everybody. You gotta disappear. What does that mean? Does that mean quit your job and disappear? No, it means this. You have so many, you have the same 24 hours I do. You guys, an hour a day to disappear and to go into a freaking a closet to pray, go into a freaking room to study, to practice, to recreate, get in the freaking gym and change who you are. Listen to me. If you've been following me for the last three years, you know this. I look completely 100% different than I looked freaking three years ago. Without a doubt, I'm different in mindset. I'm different in skill. And my physical condition is completely different. My mind is clear. I don't make bad decisions. You can influence me in a bad way. I won't let you. You physically can't get close to me if I feel like the real estate that I carry, I've limited about my heart and in my brain. You're not good for it. Now, listen to me. I am telling you, I have one goal. It's for every single one of you, every single one of you to recreate. I'm going to ask you a question. How's your physical health doing in the last six months? Has it really changed? You, you, you posted on social media, you lost 40 pounds and you're back up again. Listen to me. Let's be real about it for a second. Okay. You fake. Listen to me. I was fake for a long time. You know what I did? I told social media. I told the world. I told everybody out loud what I was going to do. And you know what I did? Here's what's shitty. And I'll be real with you because that, it's the only way we're going to grow is that I would tell people, I'm like, here I am, guys. I just got out of the gym. I just got done tearing it up. Woo! And then you know what? The whole time that I was in the gym, I wasn't even grinding. I wasn't even working out. I wasn't even killing it. All I was thinking about was what I was going to say on social media to tell everybody that I've been putting the work in. This was years ago. I was so sick of myself. I was a fraud. I didn't want to be that person. Dude, I'm normal just like you guys. We're all the same. And one day I said, screw this, screw this, man. The only way things are going to change is for me to do what? Number one, take the real estate that I have in my heart and my head and not allow any negativity, not to let anything bad come in. Secondly, what else did I have to do? It's real easy. I had to disappear. You guys have seen that I'll be massively active on social media all the time. And then I'll disappear for a month or two. You're like, man, where the hell does my fucking go? You know, Chris Taylor, we've been together. You'd be like, man, where'd Andy go? Let me tell you where I go. I recreate. That's it. I'm getting ready for war, guys. Listen, I'm telling you right now, my company's going to make, we'll make 40 million, 100 million. I'll be making a half a billion in three years. You know why I can do it? This right here. This right here, guys. Listen to me. You guys coming with me? Don't be bullshit. You guys coming with me? We going to go all the way? You guys going to change? You guys want to be just like everybody else? You want to look up and in 2023, you're the same freaking person? You want this summer to go by? And at the end of the summer, you look up, you look in the mirror, it's the same freaking person? We don't need motivation, guys. We need to freaking change. That's it. Listen to me. Some of you have come so far. You know what scares me about that? Is you're finally starting to see who it is you can become. You know, when you start to see a little results, right? That's when most people let off the gas because they're like, oh man, I'm getting progress. And you stop. No, dude, that's when you should get pissed off and say, I cannot believe that I've been able to have this kind of progress. I've been able to change. And you know what? My whole life, I hadn't been doing it. You know what? I'm tripling down. I'm tripling down. I'm bringing my own food to work. I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm exercising twice a day. I'm taking care of my family. I'm dialing out my time. I'm going to quit looking up to freaking losers. Listen to me. The person that tells you, hey, you don't have to do that. Run, run. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you this right now. Anybody, anybody that is telling you the opposite of what I'm telling you right now is stupid. They're an idiot. And all they're doing, you only get one life, okay? You don't get two. You're not going to get a chance to redo this, guys. You're not going to get a freaking chance. And I want to tell you something. I'm an underdog. Who are you? You guys are all underdogs, man. 
all of you. Okay, if you've had a great life and your parents freaking raised you amazing and you had everything, dude, what are you going to do now? You're a freaking, <laughs> you're pre-Madonna, man. Or are you going to go do something to build your own freaking street name? Guys, I want to tell you, this world, we got 8 billion people out there. 8 billion. Do you know what every single one of you, man, we all got to do this for all those other people, man, that are getting shitty advice that are getting the wrong answers, man. We got to do it for them. Look, dude, it's in about us, man. Just in case anybody's realized this, like, dude, do I want you to love who you are? Do I want you to look in the mirror and be like, dude, yeah, I like you. I like me a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Do I want you to lead your own teams? Yes. But some of you guys, your story, if you can listen to what the hell I'm saying right now, your story could change a million people's lives. And those million people probably changed 10 more million people's lives. And when you guys die, the effect that you'll have is insane. It's for the guy that's overweight watching this. It's for the woman that doesn't believe in himself. It's for the person that literally, truly has been told that you're never going to amount to nothing. I'm going to ask you this. Hey, guys, wouldn't this feel good to prove everybody wrong? Wouldn't it feel good? It's what I'm doing. I'm burning their freaking eyes out, but I ain't doing it publicly. I'm doing it behind the scenes. I'm putting in the work and it's nasty. It ain't fun. You know what's fun? Think about this, okay? When's the last time no one was around? You put your phone down. You deleted the apps. Guys, I've gotten off social media before. I know when I'm starting to get distracted, okay? I know. I'm not too good to get distracted. I don't care who we are, how much money we have, or what our title is in this world. We all fall prey to getting distracted. When I feel that shit and I start to feel that I'm actually not becoming real, I'm not being authentic anymore, you know what I do? Go in the dark room. I go back into recreate mode hard. And you have to do it every single freaking day. And I'm telling you this right now. Listen to me. You guys listen to me. And I mean this. Like, you know who you are, right? You know what you're capable of, right? You're capable of so much more. You won't even recognize yourself. I swear to God. And guess what? What's your, what's your sacrifice going to be? Sell your car? Sleep on the couch? I don't care. Listen to me. You stay comfortable? Go ahead. Keep spending the money that you don't have and be freaking broke. Every time you get paid right now, I know some of you guys are getting paid more than ever. Some of you guys take your damn paychecks, you blow it every single time you get it. What the hell's your problem, man? Okay, listen to me. I am telling you the freaking truth, okay? You want to you get ahead? Look, dude, do you guys just say you want to get ahead or you really want to get ahead? You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to me. I see a lot of people going through the freaking motions, man, and it really pisses me off. It really does. I got a lot of people, you guys are loyal to the training. You guys, you, you watch the videos, you read the books, you, you, you use the content, but at the end of the day, you're not changing. You're not. You don't look different. Last time I saw you, you don't look different. You don't. As we get older, can we look young? Yeah. Okay. What about the freaking passion in your voice when you talk? Some of you, you're just a little bit slow in speaking and talking right now. You know why? Because you don't have the drive yet. Well, next week you should have that freaking drive. Okay. Are you going to wait to be successful to get pissed off and start freaking taking what's yours? No, you take it now. Now I'm telling you this. Listen to me. I hope the whole world gets pissed off at you. But you don't tell them what you're going to do. You don't tell people. That's the number one freaking rule, okay? I was listening to this deal on, um, God, what's his name, man? The guy that uh, created uh, Google. What was his name? Uh, not Google. Um, here, hold on. I was reading this uh, quote, man. And it was one of the best quotes I've ever read in my life. Steve Jobs. What did he make? Apple. Apple. Oh, Apple. Yeah, that's all the same. These guys, <laughs> they got more money than they know what to do with. But Steve Jobs said, we do not say anything about our future products. We work on them in secret and then we release them to the world. I thought, son of a bitch. I knew that guy was doing something. He was holding out quietly. How many of you guys could hold out quietly on who you want to be? You're right now working on your future self, right? What's that guy look like? What's she look like? Listen to me. Hey, you know what a lot of your problems are? Most of you guys right now, you can't even look at me while we're training because you're freaking distracted. That's why. 
<laughs> Isn't it funny? We're talking about distractions and you can't stay focused on a 30 minute Zoom meeting about having the damn life you want. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, skill, closing, selling, speaking, mastering the art of owning anybody when you, when you meet them, all that stuff. How the hell can you do that when you're not changing? It's physically impossible. Can you do a little better? Yeah, but you're just going to, I'm going to teach you to make a little more money and then you're just going to go spend it. Dude, I want you to take over the world. Listen to me. Write this down. Take over the world. Those four words, that's what I want for you. Roger Martin, right? On the training all the time. Guess what happens? Take over the world. Stop playing freaking small. And listen to me. Be around people that tell you the freaking truth. I am going to tell you something. You're not always going to get what you want. And you're going to get it right now. You're not always going to get it that fast. It's just the truth. Okay, Mike Canna, you know what? You took over your store. You've been doing it for a year. You did a good job last year, but guess what? This year, you got a 3X to net from last year, am I right? You can't 20% more. Your owner standards are so freaking high. He ain't going to let you do a little better, bro. He wants you to 3X the net. How are you going to do it, Mike Canna? By changing, by changing. All your people that are with you, all your people, they need you to change because they're not going to give anymore until you freaking change. Until they see you as the guy or that they want to follow till they die, you're not going to change. They're not, they're not going to change. Okay? Here's what I want to tell you. The whole entire world out there right now, most of them are fakes and frauds. It's so easy to beat them. Just don't be one. That's it. Just don't freaking be one, guys. Listen. Quit lying to yourself. Quit making up stories about why you can't make it. Quit beating on your effing victim drum. Oh, Andy, you don't know what happened to me. Dude, use that shit as fuel to get pissed off. You guys have some stuff happen to you? Good. Good. Okay? You had some stuff happen? Good. That's fuel, man. You guys, do you know what gasoline does on a fire? Burns freaking hotter, baby. Okay? You had some stuff happen to you? Good. Somebody burns you? Good. Somebody lies to you? Good. Somebody cheats you? Good. Use that shit and get pissed off. Listen to me. Some of you guys, you've came so far, man. But your next level will never exist. Never. If you don't go into a dark place and make it happen. I'm not asking you to not be loving. I'm not asking you to be cold to people. I'm saying... What you do in private is what's seen in public. Why don't, when I don't see people changing, I know they ain't doing shit behind closed doors. You're talking about, hey man, oh, I'm doing all the training. No, you're not, man. You sound the same. You look the same. Come on, dude. You can't lie to me. Guys, do you know, you guys have a pretty good sense of who's lying to you, right? You know who's bullshitting you. Do you guys want to be full of shit? Or do you guys want to be the freaking truth? I want to be the truth, okay? Does that mean you're going to be perfect? No. What does that mean? That means you're going to be real, okay? In order for us to be real, we're going to have to get raw for a minute, okay? So I'm looking at some of this stuff. I put, we have, we have this passion to be um, in public, right? Like this certain way, but nobody has the patience to do the work behind the scenes. Let's talk about two months, four months, six months down the road. We're halfway through the year, right? I'm just guessing. We're halfway through the year. And you know what I see? I see people talking about stuff like this. Like, Andy, I need to work on marketing. You don't need to work on marketing, okay? You need to learn how to freaking be real. You're fake. You want to you wanna be a fake person? Go ahead. I have so many people that quit on our training program. You know why they quit? Because they want to spend money in other areas because we tell them the truth and they don't like it. Or they just want to stop spending money. They don't like it. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the truth until we die. If you're not willing to sacrifice for your next life, for your next, your next achievement, your next goal, the next you, you ain't getting nothing. You don't sacrifice, you don't receive. Money, time, okay? Sacrifice these distractions. Listen, guys, I could literally, un I could unmute anybody right now and I could say, hey, walk me through your day. Then you say, Andy, I sell cars. Andy, I sell this. Andy, I'm in this line of business. 
I say, okay, cool. So really you're spending about 20% of your day on that. What do you do in the other 80%? And you're like, well, I'm trying. And then the excuses start flowing. Okay. Listen to me. Everybody has an hour a day to smash the gym and get alone. Let me explain this to you. Why do we work out? You know why we work out? So we can learn ourselves. That's why. It, it's my, guys, who do you have to like more than anybody else in this world? You. You have to like you. If you don't like you, you're not going to do anything for anybody else. Am I right? Damn freaking straight. Okay? But so many people are trying to please other people that guess what? They literally don't like who they are. Matter of fact, you, you forgot to even like you because you think you just got to try to be liked by everybody else. No, you have to like you. So what do we do for an hour a day? We put our pods in, we put some music in our head and we go to war and we work on ourselves. That's what we do. We run, we work out, we slang and bang some weights, whatever, whatever. We sweat, we grind, we work it out. We say, I'm not going to quit. I'm dude, just wait until they see what I've got for them next. That's what I say the whole time. Just wait till they see what I got for them next. Okay. Just like the guy over there uh, with Apple said, man, working on it in public, you know, that's for losers. You work on it in private and then you rebuild it. And everybody's like, oh shit, man. Do you see that? Okay. When's the next big thing going to happen from you guys? It's going to happen when you guys decide to start working on yourself when no one's around. You can't work on yourself when people are watching you. It's physically impossible. You know why? Because all you're going to want to do is please other people. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want to write down. I want you to write down who you want to become. I want you to write down what, what kind of financial situation you want to be in. What kind of financial situation, okay? For real. Can you guys sacrifice? Can you guys start saving all your checks? Put that money away? Listen to me. If you don't, you're going to regret it. Some of you guys, you don't need to make more money. You need to freaking start spending your money smarter. Okay. You know what the hell I'm talking about? Listen to me. I always say this. If you can't take in control of your own mind, you damn sure ain't going to take control of another person's mind. And you're damn sure you can't take over the world if you can't take over your own freaking self. It's physically impossible. The only person you have to figure out how to master is you. But listen, this is the beautiful part. This is where, to me, like this is the coolest part of life. And I, God made this by design. He made some of us really broken. He made some of us with massive amounts of problems. He made some of us like where we've never believed in ourselves. If you'll do this and you'll listen to what I'm saying, you will become freaking dangerous. I swear. Not only will you change your life and change your entire family tree and give your family the lifestyle that they want, give yourself the lifestyle you want, but you'll love who you are. Everybody write this down. You'll never out earn your own self-worth. Why is your self-worth important to you? Because you'll never out earn it. The reason why some people can't go to the next level or ever earn another dollar or make more money is because they don't think they're worth it. Now, listen to me, guys. Hey, let's just be clear about this. I don't care about how much money you make. Honestly, you know what? I'm over it. Because I feel like the more we talk about money, the more fake people just keep coming because they want to make money. And you're like, oh, teach me a trick. Teach me a closing tactic. Dude, I can show you how to close everybody. But dude, if you won't be a freaking real person, the person that's watching you use the stuff that I taught you, they don't like you. They don't want to be around you. They don't want to listen to you. You're not anybody different. You're not different. Guys, do you need to be different for the different training to work? Yes. You got to be freaking different, okay? You do. Okay, so, so, so what's your secret edge? What? You're just like everybody else? You're following everybody? You're just following in line? Or are you going to take control of your own life? That's it. Listen, some of you, and I mean this, I love it. I watch when you guys quit training. I watch you. I watch you quit. I've watched so many of you quit. I don't judge you. I know you're in a freaking nasty place, but instead of owning your shit, you start blaming it on everything else and you're just, you're backsliding and you're going into downward spiral. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you hate yourself. You hate yourself. You don't like you. I know you don't like you because you quit on you already. I never quit. I'll die before I quit. You guys, if you really believe in me, if you really believe in me, I'm an underdog. 
How did I beat everybody? By training in the dark. That's it. And then when I come back out in the light, bam, baby. You see that? You're ready to go. When's the last time you guys trained in the dark and went back in light? You want to do what the hell happened, man? By the way, what does disappear mean? Remember how I said, take inventory of your life, take inventory of your mind and your real estate on your heart. Only so much, you can only give so much of your time to people. Okay. We got to use an appraisal system. Okay. Who's getting your time after work? Who's getting your time? What is getting your time after work? If you drink, you better stop. Yeah, you're becoming stupid by drinking. You say, Andy, well, I, 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 go ahead, man. Give me the excuse. Go ahead. Weak ass. Okay. Weak ass. You just put in three, three weeks of training. You gave it away because you went out for the weekend. You always give it back. When are you guys sick and tired of giving it back? When are you going to decide that I'm, I'm sick of giving it back? Okay. So some of you guys, you grind your ass off. You give it back. You give it back every single time. You're so proud of yourself and you give it back. Could you imagine if you stopped giving it back and you kept freaking growing? What does age mean? Nothing. I'm 42 years old. I feel like I'm 16. I'm ready to go to war every freaking day, man. It's never been easier to win. Everybody's opted out of winning, man, which means they've opted into losing. They've opted out. Why? Because I see them. Okay, I see these fake ass people all over social media talking about their happy day and happy. Okay, listen to me, guys. How can we get everything that we want in life? How can we get it? It's simple. Mike Hanna, the gym's really important to you, isn't it? You hadn't been going like you should, have you? That's a problem. You know why? The profits would be up three times if you were going to the gym. You know why? Because the person you are when you smash that gym is a whole different human being. Am I right? You're hurting your company by not doing what it is that you know you need to do. Change. Don't complain about it. Change it. Don't make excuses. Change it. You change it. Hmm. Loading your whiteboard experience. Not sure what we got going on here, but either Brandon pulled something really cool out or. Sorry about that, guys. Not really sure what happened there, but. We're good. You guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. So are they worth your time? Is it worth your time? Take appraisal of it, guys. Write down anything and everything that gets your time. Listen to me. Some of you guys may have had mentors you're looking up to. You need to can them. Okay. If that's me, if you think I'm a fraud, can me. Can them. Get rid of them. Stop looking up to them. Hey, listen to me. Stop getting confused. Quit watching five people. Go down to one. Master one person. Everybody write this down. Master one person. Master one person, okay? Listen, don't try to master five people. Master one, okay? Listen, I'm going to explain to you what I mean. When I was going through my recreation phase, okay, I went dark. I went dark. And I watched David Goggins 24-7, 365. I had a great attitude. I sold. I smiled. I stayed happy. But I watched Goggins. And I learned everything about him. I can tell you more about David Goggins than he probably knows about his own self. You know why? I just studied them. I needed it. Guys, listen to me. I kept losing my mind as I was trying to gain life. I kept losing my mind along the way. I'm just telling you guys the truth, okay? Listen, somebody that won't tell you guys the truth, it just says, hey, guys, right now I've got an X amount million dollar company. I got more money and I know what to do with. I'm doing great. If you'll just do these three tricks, you're going to make No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to have to become a freaking warrior, okay? You're going to have to become a badass, okay? You're going to have to become unbreakable. OK, you're 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 going to have to be a person that you're going to not let anybody else penetrate your mind. OK, unless they're good, they're good for you. Listen, people that have a good appraisal values, hundred thousand dollar appraisal cars, they've got room in my garage, in my head. Hundred dollar fucking trade appraisals don't get parked in my garage. OK, and some of you guys listen to me. What does that mean? You're going to have to start saying no to some people. You're going to have to start getting some people out of your life. You're going to have to start auditing people out of your life. Listen, can I say something to everybody right now? This is probably your hardest thing. You guys don't have the courage. You don't have it. You don't have the courage. You can't say no to people. You're weak. Listen to me. Your biggest problem is somebody comes and they ask you to do something and you don't want to do it, but you say yes anyways, because you're a coward. 
Stop being freaking weak. Stop being soft. Do you want to have the life you want or do you want to be a freaking ass kisser and a people pleaser for the rest of your life? Listen to me. I'd rather be feared than liked. I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody leaves me, I'm still going to be undeniably the best. I'm still going to run you over. I'm still going to kill it. I'm still going to crush it. I'm still going to train in the dark. We're still going to go to war. We're still going to win. I want to win. You guys want to win? Okay. Does winning recognize you? Winning, don't, winning doesn't recognize people that don't stand up for the life that they want. Okay? Guys, like, come on, man. Let's go have a drink, dude. Dude, listen to me. Clearly, that guy doesn't understand that you want to change your life. You say, hey, man, I don't drink anymore. I'm actually working on freaking getting in good shape and killing it, crushing my life. So you're saying you can't, boom, he's gone. Adios, amigo. See ya. I'm done. You guys are like, but Andy, we've been friends our whole life. Yeah, you know what? That's the reason, that's the exact reason why you're going to have your same freaking life your whole life. Listen to me. If something happens, I want to tell you this. You know, last night we were in Mexico. We're driving on our way in outside of our, um, our gate as we're coming into our, our uh, room here there's a truck on fire and these people died in it. And I'm telling I was like, Oh my God, we said a prayer with the kids. We're like, Oh my God, man, my kids are crying. They're like, dad, what's going on? This freaking truck's on fire. These people died. In it. And I'm like, dude, I, I hope those people like gave everything they had in life because I keep saying this. There may be a Monday morning that like, I'm not going to show up because I'm dead. Listen to me. I'm ready to die. I give everything I freaking got every day. I want you guys to do that same thing. Listen, I'm telling you right now, as much as I like teaching skill, as much as I like teaching objections and word tracks and closing and how to use the phone and all of that, dude, we're at a shortage of people that know how to control their own freaking mind. They know how to take control of their own life. They know how to stand up and be a real leader. Listen, the world's looking for leaders. There's a shortage of them. All you guys on this call right now, you want everything that you want in life? Just listen to what I'm saying. Guys, understand and take appraisal of everything in your life currently and everything that is to come. Every time that somebody asks you to do something from this point forward, is it worth it? Is it worth your time? I'm asking, is it worth your time? Is that person worth it? If not, have the courage to say, no ways, thank you. Guys, I'm not a dick. I'm super loving. I'm one of the most loving people in the world. But guess what? I'm going to tell you this. There are people that don't want you to make it. Clearly. There are people that don't want you to win. Here's what I'm here to tell you. I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys slaughter everybody. Your kids, you got kids, they need you. Okay, you got kids, listen to me, man. I'm telling you right now, men and women, you got kids, you better change, okay? We've got to be the change in this world, all right? This world's going in the freaking wrong direction every freaking day. And I ain't going to get into all that. But what we can control is ourselves. If you're listening to me right now and you're a little pissed off, you've been playing small, you know it. You're a little stirred up. Go into the comment section and put a one. Just put a one. Let's see if, let's see if some people got the courage to, to say, hey, you know what, man? I'm going to level my ass up. And I want to say this to you, right? You can't put a little one in that, in that little comment box that means nothing. You damn sure can't stand up and get your own life. What are we going to do? It's real simple. Heroes, they're made in the dark. Okay? That's you guys. You know what that means? That means you're not going to do it when you're at work. Yeah, you're going to show up to work. You're going to kick everybody's ass. You're going to give everything you got. But when you're not at work, that's when we're going to start growing. That's when we're going to start putting in the work. Billy Moses, I know every single morning you meet John Johnson at the gym and you drive hours to go meet him, okay? I know all about it, hadn't talked about it with you, but guess what? You're changing, son. You're changing. The problem is, is that as you are changing, there's going to be a morning you wake up that you're sick and you don't feel like going. And you know what? That morning is going to be your test day. And when you don't go, you're going to remember what it was like to sleep in and get that little extra hour or two. And you're back to zero again. You started all over and you gave it all back. Don't you dare give it back. I'm telling every single one of you, Mike Hanna, I nailed that gym shit with you. Am I right? Hey, Mike, unmute yourself for a minute. Yeah. 
Mike, now you're a GM of a store. You're kicking ass. You just opened your new store this last year. Hey, I started training you since you were selling cars. Am I right? You're right. Now you're running your own store. You've got a whole team behind you. How important, how important is fitness to you? It's very important. I've been slacking. I know. Listen to me. As I'm talking about this with you right now, it's pissing you off a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Good. I need that. Listen, to me. you know what I know? I know, Mike, I know you love your team. You know what I know? I know that you love your owner to death and you'd be willing to die for him because you care about him that much. And you know, yeah. he'll do the same for you. And I know you got a beautiful family. You know what also I know? I know that Mike's got to take care of Mike. Because if Mike doesn't take care of Mike, Mike can't take care of all these other things. And Mike, if you become so consumed in all this other stuff that you don't take care of Mike, you can't take this to the next level. It can't happen, Mike. It physically can't happen. Because at some point, you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to break. You'll eventually break. But you know what? When you're smashing the gym and you're going hard and you're taking care of yourself, you love yourself to, to a level that's un I, I know your level. I know that Mike level. But when you're there, Mike, guess what happens? Nobody can mess with you. Am I right? You're right. You know when people mess with you, Mike, is when you don't believe in yourself. That's when you start to break. But the gym has given you that confidence and that, and that time to yourself that's allowed you to get ready and go kill it. Mike, you've never had a problem not training. You've always yeah. trained. Mike, you've never had a problem not working hard. You always work hard. Your work ethic you got, some of, you got one of the best work ethics I've ever seen. But when you miss out on the gym, which is that dark time, that special time, dude, guess what, man? I think it's costing the company millions of dollars. But you know what it's costing you? It's costing you that freaking peace that you carry with yourself. Because remember, money's only so much, okay? Mike, it's about who we're becoming that really means everything, right? So you think you can get back in the gym and start making sure we don't miss it ever again? Starting now. Mike, I wish I was there to choke your ass out right now. Mike, seriously. Hey, come here, Ryan. Let's get hey. Big Ryan over yeah. here. You know what? Hey, Mike, I'm going to bring Big Brian over there. Mike, put the I'm going to put you in a headlock, buddy. Mike, I'm going to bring the guys for you. <laughs> Anytime. Hey, listen, Let's go. Hey, Mike. No, seriously, we're coming for you. But hey, listen, Mike, I mean that. That's your secret weapon. And I'm telling you, listen to me. Some of you that's never exercised or you're older, you may be like, I don't need to work out. Listen to me. You're missing it, okay? You're missing it. The mental side of taking care of yourself, making time for yourself to become healthier, to become stronger, to become a warrior. That's what it's about. OK, so anyways, let's do this, guys. We're not going to go into this much farther, but I want to tell every single one of you. Listen to me. This is very, very, very important. Sacrifice. I built this company sleeping on mattresses on the floor, sold my home. I don't care if you got to sleep on people's couches. I don't care. Stop acting like you made it. Stop living like you made it. And guess what? If you're doing good right now, you're making more money than ever. Guess what? Go back to zero. Stay stirred up. Stay freaking hungry. Okay. You want to, you want to go to the next level? You got to find the next level of yourself, of you. Where's that next person found? It's real simple. It's in a dark room. It's in a silent place that no one's around. You know, it's funny, Mike can, as I was talking to Adele last night, who owns Unlimited Motors, where Mike works, okay? They're killing it, crushing it. Their business is growing faster than ever. It's a Sunday night. Sunday. He spent time with his family. He's a great, great family, man. But guess what he's doing? He's down in his basement. It's 9 o'clock at night. And he's getting ready for a meeting that he wanted to have. He trained on it for an hour, hour and a half, getting ready. He's an owner. Most people aren't thinking about having those meetings anymore because they made it. They're doing better. They're growing. No ways. Not winners. Winners go into a dark place every day. They go into a place where no one's around and they're not trying to impress anybody no more. This isn't for any of you. This isn't for anyone. This is for me. This is for me to go to the next level. This is for me to like who the hell I am. This is for me to make sure I understand that I ain't fake that I'm freaking real and that I'm paying the price because if you don't pay the price, guess what happens? Somebody's going to come kick your ass. You guys know this market, right? We're, we're going to finish on this note. This market's been really good to a lot of people. A lot of people that should be making about four or five grand a month. They've been making about 15 and they think it's them. When this market shifts, they're going to get buried. 
there's a lot of people right now that are really about 10 or 15 grand hands that are making about 30 to 35. When this market shifts, they're going to get buried. Guys, I am preparing for a land grab. A land grab. You know what that means? I'm going to take it all. I'm preparing. You guys should be doing the same thing. How should we be preparing for it? Simple. Every day. One hour, two hours. Be alone. Be by yourself. Work on your craft. Learn your business so well that you know it better than your competition. Learn how to kick your own ass. Find your holes. What's your problem? What's your issue? What's your leak? Don't you dare let someone else find it, will in the Trojan horse and shut you down. You figure out every day how to get to that next freaking level. You become more fit. You become more healthy. You take care of yourself and your skill. Get closer to your family. And guess what? Don't be fake. Don't be a freaking fraud. Okay? And if there's somebody and you're in a classroom right now or you're in a room and you got a whole bunch of people around you, you probably got some guy with a little shitty smirk on his face who's like, ah, man, this guy right here. Listen, that's the exact weak ass person that I'm telling you is going to get their ass kicked when this market shifts. That person right there, you know what they do? They make fun of people all the time because they got their own insecurities. I'm an underdog. You know what I do? I cheer other people on. I want to see all you win. But I'm going to tell you this, the fastest way for all of us to win and to take over the world is for us to start doing it in secret. That's it. Take the time, guys. Find the place. Be disciplined. Kill the distractions. If you guys will listen to what I just said during this entire call. I assure you, own your shit. Okay? You're not as good as you think you are, and neither am I. I'm okay with that but I'm going to train like hell to make sure that when I run across somebody or some obstacle or something that's going to try to take me down, not a chance in hell. I'm not losing to you. I'm not losing to it. And I'm not going to quit. And I'm not going to break. And guess what? I'm okay with sleeping on the floor. I'm okay with it. I don't need anything. I don't need money. I just need to win. It's all I want to do. I want to win in life. I don't want to lose. So I'm willing to sacrifice more than almost everyone else in this world. I want you to be willing to do the same thing. And if you guys look up to me, I want you guys to realize that, you know what? Sacrifices are good things. Going without is a good thing. Telling yourself no, okay? So you can put off gratification for later, do it. Some of you guys, every time you get a check, you can go and buy something nice because you got to keep doing something cool. Nah, man, go put that stuff in the bank, okay? Let's see if you can do it for six months. Then go buy yourself something at Christmas, Okay. The guy that can create delayed gratification, the man or the woman that can create del delayed gratification, which means I don't have to have it today, is freaking dangerous. Okay? Go dark, guys. Listen, fire it up. Have the best attitude in the world. But go dark on their asses. That is the way for us to kick everybody's ass. So if you're watching this as a team, your team needs to get together and you need to out-train all the other teams. If you're watching this as a leader, you know this, that there's another leader out there, and guess what? They're coming to recruit your team. So you better get your shit together, okay? And you're responsible for all those people and it's a privilege to be a leader. And then if you're watching this and you're a solo person like I was in the beginning, understand this, that you're not always gonna be solo. You're gonna have a team. And all the things that you're doing right now, you're gonna do it so you can prove it to yourself that it can happen. And then you're gonna teach it to your teams when you have them, okay? That's what we're going to do. But right now, we got to take care of what it is that we're going to take care of. It's the last week of the month. Let's slaughter everybody. Freaking love you guys. Let's kick some ass. Recreate. Go into a place that isn't in public. Do it there. And then guess what? Make your next product. Make, sure, make your next uh, public appearance, your next event powerful. Don't tell them what's coming. Don't tell them. Just suffocate your haters with success. Suffocate them. Choke them out. Torture them. Don't say a freaking word. People that I would say, call your shot. I'm okay with telling people you're going to win. Listen to me. You know, the easiest way for me to find my haters, I'll come out and be like, hey guys, I'm taking over the world. And I'll be like, this guy's like, oh, you're not taking over nothing. I'm like, dude, there he is. I knew that was a guy. We, we knew it the whole time. Sometimes I'll do it just to do a little hater check. But you know what? What you do in private though is who you are. Guys, love you. Have a great day. Go kick ass. See ya. Woo! Kill it, baby. Love you too, Andy. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Kill it. Let's go.